All right, so as uh, your senior patroller mentioned, uh, my name is Jason Spangler. I'm the camp director at Camp Barstow. And for those of you who don't know, Camp Barstow is in South Carolina. So to get there, you would go right down the interstate, down 77. When you get to a, uh, right near Fairfield, you cut a crossover and you'd be headed towards Lake Murray. So our camp is about two hours away. It's on Lake Murray, which is a huge 50,000 acre lake uh, that's built with hydroelectric dam there that feeds into uh, Columbia. So our camp has been around for a long time. This is actually our 90th anniversary. We're pretty excited about that. Although we kind of cheat a little bit because our camp has moved three times during its history. And, uh, but it has been on this spot on Lake Murray for the last 25 years. Um, now I understand last year you guys went to Camp Barnhart. So tonight when I'm telling you about my camp, I'm just going to try to highlight some ways that we are maybe different and unique from Camp Barnhart. I definitely don't intend to... Um, you know, say we're better. I just want to tell you how we're different because we are a little bit different than uh, than Barnhart. So raise your hand if you did go to summer camp last year. I'm just kind of curious who that would be. Okay, so about about maybe a third of you. So that's good. That's fine. I'm going to tell you really three major things about my camp. And I didn't bring a computer screen or anything. I actually went a little old school. I brought a little picture book. So this is not quite preschool, but I'm going to flip my picture book and show you some pictures because I think it'll help kind of sell you on our camp. So. The first thing I want to tell you about is facilities. And our camp, because we're not that old, although I said we're 90 years old, in this particular location we're not that old, so we have a lot of really nice facilities. So my first picture here is actually something that everyone who's a scout kind of gets sort of excited about. And that is, when you come to our camp, you're going to sleep in an Adirondack. Now an Adirondack is essentially a cabin that doesn't have a front on it. And so you do not sleep in canvas wall tents like a lot of camps do, <coughs> barn hurt. Um, so this is one of the things that people sort of like about our camp. I forgot to mention, inside this Adirondack, there are wall outlets. So there's electricity in the Adirondack. So we really suggest you bring fans, hang them up in the rafters. At night, you can get your fans blowing and you can cool off. If your scout leader says you can bring an electronic device, you can plug it in at night. That's a troop decision. We don't get in the middle of that. But all of our campsites have these Adirondacks, a minimum of two. We're actually building one campsite now that will have three. Leaders, we also, in some of the campsites, have leader Adirondacks. So imagine this building, which probably sleeps 12 or 14 scouts, kind of a half-size version of it. That would be for leaders, and we have those as well. Otherwise, leaders can bring a tent, pitch a tent, you know, that sort of thing. But there's electricity in all the campsites, so that's pretty important. Do any of you like to uh, stay in a hammock when you go camping? Anybody like a hammock camper? I'm seeing some hands like that, okay. Well, let me show you this picture too. This is built on the side of every uh, campsite. We have a hammock shelter built. So you know when you go on a camping trip, sometimes you'll string a, your hammock between two trees and maybe you have a tarp, maybe you don't. Well, we basically have a permanent roof and permanent rigging built. So if you're into hammock camping, uh, we've got you covered. I didn't take a picture of it, but our dining hall is air conditioned. It's a big, beautiful dining hall. It's air conditioned, so when you go in, all that's taken care of. Another amenity we have for leaders is we have Wi-Fi. We have really good Wi-Fi in our camp, and you can get a cell phone signal. So if you need to uh, do a little work during the day, we have a Scoutmaster's Lounge where you can crash in, you know, Scoutmasters only, and you can uh, get on the Wi-Fi and do your work. Scouts, we have all the things that you'd want, trading posts and all that kind of stuff, you know, slushy machine, okay, we got you covered, right? But number two, the, the second thing I want to talk about is we're a camp on a lake. And so that's one thing that we do very well is everything to do with the water, uh, we do very well. And so this next picture actually, well, there's one more picture of a troop sitting on the Adirondack. So that will be you all when you come week two, getting your picture taken in front of your Adirondack. That was, I think, a troop that might actually be there the exact same week you're going to be there. This is Troop 91 from um, Columbia. They're going to be there that week. And you'll see, you actually see them at the zombie apocalypse because they're going to be there as well. So you'll get to meet those girls. So one thing we did a couple years ago, we bought brand new paddle boards. So we have a bunch of stand-up paddle boards. So this is an activity that you can do. It could even be wrapped up in one of your merit badges. We'll show you. We'll talk about that in a minute. The other thing that we sort of sets us apart is... We have a lot of motorboats. So if you're gonna have a big, big lake, um, one thing you'd wanna do is have some fancy boats. So this, we call this affectionately Ruby. This is our fastest power boat that we do water skiing behind and tubing as well. Um, 
she can go really fast and uh, this is a brand new engine we had to replace that engine last year it only cost us fifteen thousand dollars it's got executive about had a heart attack there uh, this is Ruby's uh, little little sister this is Lucy and Lucy is another power boat that we have and again you can see this is a picture of some Scouts PSA girls I don't know if you can tell those are girls in the picture um, and they're going out tubing uh, on Lucy so that's one activity that we do is tubing a bar stove and then this is what tubing looks like now you you all live kind of close to Lake Wiley and stuff raise your hand if you've gone tubing before you know what that is where you sort of have this thing that pulls you behind and you're kind of get the hot dog on it so this is actually one of our free time activities that doesn't cost anything all you have to do is get in line and be the first person there and you can go tubing we do that almost every day of the week at four o'clock and again at seven o'clock we do tubing so that's a lot of fun got some more boats this is the other thing we're really excited about at camp is we have two pontoon boats and one of those pontoon boats is actually dedicated to our nature program so did anyone here uh, last summer camp at Barnhart take a uh, nature merit badge like environmental science or something like that or any kind of badge reptile amphibian study mammal study no no okay y'all probably doing like first year camper type stuff well what we figured out is that when you do all of these nature badges instead of sitting at a picnic table and doing your merit badges there what is a lot of fun is to put the scouts on a pontoon boat and we take you out to the islands in the middle of lake murray where they're uninhabited islands where it's just nature and bugs and corn snakes maybe and uh, we do our observations there so it's a little bit like uh, you know exploration we go out to these islands and that's where we try to do the things twice a day we also take what we call an, an ecology tour which is a boat tour up the river where we see all the osprey and the heron and all the wildlife around Lake Murray it's sort of like something you might do at a theme park or something or maybe if you went down to the low country of South Carolina you pay a bunch of money to get on a flat boat and they take you out and the guide would say there's an alligator there's a bird you know that kind of thing but it's really cool a lot of people like that a lot so that's that's what we do with our big pontoon boat the other pontoon boat we have we use for fishing so if you're into fishing uh, we have a pontoon boat that all it's for is our fishing program because that's what Lake Murray is really known for so we do a good job with that as well all right does anyone like to go sailing all right a lot of time at scout camps if you go sailing you're going to be in what they sort of call like a sunfish it's going to be this little teeny tiny sailboat and maybe two scouts can kind of fit in it and we have those but we actually have now this year five different types of sailboats at Camp Barstow and this is a picture of one of our hunters which actually has a cabin in it you can go inside and this is so if you did decide to take small boat sailing merit badge at our camp you would get to sail on one of those little itty bitty sunfishes but also we have a catamaran we have these sunfishes and then this year we're adding this huge 26 foot boat that was donated to us so this literally has like a kitchen inside of it and a, a restroom although we don't really want you to use the restroom <coughs> inside the boat but you know it's like riding on a charter bus they say don't use the restrooms but anyways this is a really cool boat uh, this one will be in, in, in service as well this year so we're excited about adding that to our fleet and then there's some more fun stuff let me talk about the merit badges next so when you all went to camp last year if you did merit badges here's what a typical camp does typical camp they start off and they say okay at nine o'clock you're gonna take pick a merit badge what's a merit badge any of you took climbing, climbing. nine o'clock you're gonna do climbing at 10 o'clock you're going to do water sports, water sports. at 11 o'clock you're going to do shotgun. shotgun so let me describe this for you climbing tower is on this side of camp water sports you have to walk all the way across to this side oh and change into your right clothing right your bathing suit then you're gonna do water sports getting all wet <laughs> then like 45 minutes later you have to change out of those clothes because you have to walk back over here to go do your shotgun shooting merit badge or rifle shooting and what you've done is you've wasted a lot of time you've just bounced all around between camp going from one class to the next to the next well my first summer at Camp Barstow we did the same thing same thing every camp does every hour change class you're bouncing all around it feels a little bit like school everybody's hurried and rushed so what we decided to do was we decided to totally change the way that merit badges are taught at summer camp and so we call this the Barstow bundles and so here's what your merit badges look like at, at our camp instead of taking a merit badge class every hour you're going to take a group normally of three merit badges and these three merit badges we call them a bundle they're, they're merit badges that kind of fit together and these merit badges will all be taught in one location over two and a half days so if you do the math two and a half days you're going to get to do two different bundles during your week at Barstow 
typically you'll have a chance to get about six merit badges, which is what most Scoutmasters and parents hope to see. So let's look at a couple of these. Here's one that we think works really well for younger Scouts. We call it Barstow Frontiersman. And what it involves is archery, which is very popular. A lot of Scouts like to do archery. We pair it up though with Indian lore. And then we also pair that up with some handicraft badges. So if you did this one, you actually could get four. Here's the idea. The idea is that if you take this sort of Native American theme for your bundle, which Frontiersman does, we can do all of the handicraft badges that feed into that Indian lore merit badge. So for example, when you make your leather craft, you're gonna make an Indian medicine pouch, which kind of fits into the whole Indian lore thing. Of course, archery, you know, at least stereotypically, kind of fits in with Native Americans and, and hunting and whatever. So we think that's really cool. All of these bundles have a culminating activity, and for us, Frontiersman culminates in a Thursday night powwow. We call it a rendezvous, but it's very much like a powwow, where we have the, our La, OA Lodge drum team comes and drums, and those of you who have been through the Frontiersman program are invited to come and do a Native American dance and kind of experience that culture, okay? So that's Frontiersman, that one's real simple. Do any of you like to do uh, canoeing or kayaking? I think when I showed you the picture of the paddleboard, a few got excited, right? Well, you might wanna do what we call Voyager. So again, same thing, complimentary merit badges, canoeing and kayaking. If you look at the requirements, you gotta know parts of the canoe, you gotta know parts of the kayak. You gotta swamp the canoe, you gotta swamp the kayak. Why not do that all together in a blended program where you're not even sure which merit badge you're working on? Some of you are doing canoe and the other of you working on kayak. And then we've also added in stand-up paddleboard, which is actually a, not a merit badge, but a little activity patch that you can earn in scouts. And then this culminates in a two hour trip in a 16 person war canoe. We have two of these at our camp. So it's a little bit like something you might do. I don't know, uh, I think at Disney World they used to have these giant canoes like this. You could take these out. So the, we, this is a sort of the culminating activity of Voyager. And then the last one we have is um, anyone who's interested in nature. We have a couple of different options with this. This one's called Barstow Explorer. It includes environmental science, nature, and insect study. And again, I have a picture here of the pontoon boat because this is the bundle where we have dedicated a pontoon boat so the scouts get to go out and do that while they're looking for all those insects and doing their exam their studies and stuff so this is what it looks like there are 59 different merit badges available at our camp and they're rolled together into 24 different bundles so you have to choose out of all 24 bundles which two do you want to do that week that's a pretty simple choice, especially if you're kind of a younger scout, maybe you don't have a lot of merit badges. Um, we broke them down into these ones that are blue or kind of for newer scouts, um, younger scouts. The ones in yellow are kind of like your middle school age scouts, maybe, you know, could, sixth grader could definitely do it, but seventh, eighth grade. And then if you had some scouts in high school, they might be interested in these ones in green that are maybe a little more advanced. Uh, things like water sports, you have to uh, have some strengths you can pull up on it when it does water skiing. That's a little tough for some of our scouts. So here's what it looks like. Again, showed you this one earlier. These are, these are the 24 bundles. And so you'll pick which two you wanna do and that'll be your schedule, okay? Here's the best part though. The best part is at four o'clock every day except for Wednesday, we stop teaching merit badges at four o'clock. Now when we created this schedule, we didn't realize this was really gonna be the secret sauce that was gonna set us apart from everybody else. We were so focused on the bundles because I'm an educator and my um, program director, he's a teacher, and we both have master's degrees in education. And we thought, oh, this bundles is so smart. We're so smart. We didn't realize the thing the scouts were really gonna love was at four o'clock, we have free time all over camp. We open up everything in camp and we staff it with our staff. So this is our little Barstow passport. You'll get one like this this year. It'll have a different patch on it and stuff. But inside the passport, I try to take these because this reminds me of all the free time activities that you can do it for. So say for example, let's say you did rifling. For all morning, we pair rifle with shotgun, we teach them together. So if all day you were up at the rifle range, shotgun range doing that, and you really hadn't had a chance to get in the lake yet, then at four o'clock, you could go down to the waterfront because every day at four o'clock, there's open swimming, open boating, there's tubing, there's an ecology trip on the pontoon boat, all that stuff is free. Maybe there's other scouts who haven't done rifle at all or haven't done archery. So those ranges are open at four o'clock and you could go and do those as well. All of these four o'clock activities are free. None of them have an upcharge or a special fee that you have to pay for. And so that's a real big hit for us. 
Also open fishing, I don't wanna short the fishing guys, and we have candy craft as well. So that's very popular. So essentially at four o'clock, when you get out of class, everybody's kind of running to the place that they wanna be, so they'll be first in line to go do that. So that's pretty exciting. Then at seven o'clock after dinner, we also don't teach any merit badges. When you went to camp last summer, did any of you take like a seven o'clock twilight merit badge? Let me tell you what a lot of camps do. So at seven o'clock, they have all these merit badges. So after you've gone and had dinner, they want you to go back to class and take like chess merit badge or radio merit badge or I don't know, whatever other boring merit badge. They have all these merit badges and your scoutmaster's like, oh yeah, you've got to sign up for merit badges and your mom's like, you got to go take some more merit badges. And so you're in class all day. It's the worst thing ever. So we discovered at Camp Barstow, no, we go back to the idea of free time activities. So at seven o'clock, we have all kinds of stuff going on, except sometimes what we do is we do competitions. So one night we actually have a gaga ball tournament. Uh, so we have a, that's kind of a kooky thing. We have a basketball tournament. We have uh, a chess tournament. We have, again, war canoes, tubing, swimming, all that stuff kind of opens back up at seven and it just keeps going, it keeps going. At nine o'clock, I, I do have a picture of this. So twice during the week at nine o'clock, we have something called a pavilion party. And uh, if you've never seen, there's a, kind of a picture of it. So if you've never been to our camp before, and I know you guys are going to be at Zombie Ops, I will be there as well, so make sure I see you. We have this wonderful pavilion that's built on the side of our dining hall. It's huge. It's actually the same footprint of our dining hall, just turned sideways with a big roof. And this is a picture of us on karaoke night. All the scouts that are there are singing the finale song. That night it was Sweet Home Alabama. And there I am in the yellow shirt, arm in arm with all those scouts singing Sweet Home Alabama. So we do karaoke, that's on Tuesday night. And then Thursday night, our theme is, basically it's Barstow has talent. So if your troop has a skit or a song, or if you are a break dancer and you wanna break dance for the whole camp, you sign up ahead of time and you get to do that in front of everybody. And this happens from nine to 10. So for Scout Masters, we kind of run things late and uh, you might get, you know, you get plenty of sleep. But uh, anyways, it runs till 10 o'clock at night, so we have a lot of fun with that. Yes? For the talent show, can you bring a musical instrument? You can. You can. <laughs> so let me tell you another thing about the talent show we're really pushing this year. So your Scoutmaster reminded me that he saw a very silly video that's out on YouTube that you can watch, where myself and my program director, we did a, you won't even know what this is, your parents will know Wayne's World. Okay. So we did a Wayne's World skit, um, <laughs> And what we were doing was we're introducing the idea that this summer at camp, we have a spirit theme. And our spirit theme is the 90s. Earlier I told you this is our 90th anniversary. And so the idea of the 90s, that's our theme. So anything from the 90s, any movie character, any uh, band, anything from the 90s you can think of, go and Google that. You can see all the cool movies that came out in the 90s. So this Wayne's World sketch came out in the 90s. So at our campfires, I'm going to be Wayne Campbell and he's going to be Garth and we're going to kind of run this little running joke. So at the pavilion party, you could actually come dressed as a movie character from the 90s, you know, Woody from Toy Story or I don't know what. You can, you can use your imagination and then that can kind of be part of the, the fun is that 90s spirit theme, okay? We'll probably play music from the 90s, you know, in the, in the dining hall, stuff like that. So it'll be a good time. I do have one last picture. Let's see what it is. Oh, Scoutmasters. So for Scoutmasters, what I want you to know is every day of the week, we try to do something really fun for you. Hopefully none of you have allergies to shrimp. This would be a really bad picture if you do. But uh, on Wednesdays, we did a shrimp boil for the Scoutmasters. I had a special dinner just for them. We also do just a, um, we do tubing just for them because most Scoutmasters don't want to go tubing and have their Scouts go with them because then you'll laugh at them when they crash and flip off the tube. So we have an adults only tubing session. We have an adults only shotgun tournament. We have an adults only pontoon boat ride. So we try to do some fun things for the Scoutmasters each evening so that they can have something to look forward to as well. So that's what kind of sets us apart at Camp Barstow. Um, do you guys have any questions? Because um, I should have told you this before. Um, I'm a troop committee member of a Scouts BSA girl troop in Charlotte. Um, so my daughter is uh, 15 years old. She will be at Camp Barstow. This will be her third summer on staff. Um, and we're in Troop 233. We're not coming to the zombie apocalypse, sadly, but um, you'll see me there. And this summer, just so you know, we will probably have between six and 12 uh, girls, Scouts BSA girls, like high school age girls on staff. 
So there'll be a lot of girls, a bunch of these Charlotte girls are applying to work on staff, also some girls from Columbia. Um, we'd love to have some Palmetto Council girls if any of them decide to, to come and apply. So, question. Are any of these will look at the bundles tonight, like all of them? Sure, yeah, yeah, I've got some handouts. I'll give this to your uh, scout leader and I'll leave these copies right here. And on the back, it's got the, all that stuff. So essentially what you want to do is probably about March, I'll let you know, but in March we'll open up the registration. So sometime between now and then, try to decide which bundles you want to take. And uh, then when the red online registration starts, you can click in there and get everybody signed up. That's a good question. We limit our camp to where we only have 225 scouts and, and adults there per week. And that way, all of these things I told you about, there won't be like endless lines. It's not like there's 800 scouts who want to go tubing at four o'clock. Um, the other reason for that is in the dining hall, what we do that's a little different than some camps is we serve family style dining. And so what that means is when it's time to eat, everybody goes in, we do like our flag ceremony out front, and then everybody goes in and sits down at the exact same time and you'll sit with your troop at a table. All your food will be on the table. You don't have to wait in the cafeteria line like you would at school. So that's what family style dining is. There's a bowls of food with enough servings to feed everyone at the table. Um, so we say grace outside, we all come in and eat. And then when it gets to wind down, we do announcements and then we always sing a song. So I don't know if you all are a very song singing troop, but at our camp, after every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we sing a song, our staff really gets into it. If I was gonna say like a third reason why you should come to Camp Barso, our staff is really excellent. Um, one thing we did, just to compliment you Palmetto Council people is, when Camp Bob Harden um, got hit by that flood in 2017, we reached out, actually 2018, sorry, I get my dates right. Uh, we reached out to their camp staff and we hired five um, members of the Camp Bob Harden staff to come and work at our camp. And one thing they gave us was an infusion of energy and scout spirit. New songs we'd never sung, lots of great spirit. And so we're, we're excited. Some of those people are still working for us three years later. Um, in fact, I don't know if you know uh, Max Robinson, who's the Skyuka Lodge Chief. He's going to be on camp staff again. Um, Hunter Roberts is another guy from Skyuka you may not know. Um, there's actually a, a scout from Troop 540 in Rock Hill named Braden, who's applied and we're going to offer him a position on camp staff. So we, we hope to have another five or six uh, Palmetto Council scouts on staff. While you're thinking, I should have mentioned the food is really good. So what we do, uh, again, the dining hall, we have, um, we also have a salad bar available at lunch and dinner, a really nice salad bar with lots and lots and lots of toppings. And so if you decide that you don't really like what's being served, you, you can always have the salad bar. Uh, also for breakfast, we have some alternative things set out for breakfast. Um, if you have anyone who's, you know, vegan, and, you know, gluten-free, whatever, uh, we can make arrangements for that as well. We see you know, ahead of time, so we can plan for that, so. Thank <laughs> you.